In this lab we will understand how to host a website on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2. EC2 is the Amazon Web Service you use to create and run virtual machines in the cloud. AWS calls these virtual machines instances. Log into AWS Management Console. Then type EC2 in the search bar and select Amazon EC2 to open the Service Console. You are now in the EC2 Launch Instance Wizard, which will help you configure and launch your instance. In this screen, you are shown options to choose an Amazon Machine Image, AMI. AMIs are pre-configured server templates you can use to launch an instance. Each AMI includes an operating system, and can also include applications and application servers. You will now choose an instance type. Instance types comprise of varying combinations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking capacity so you can choose the appropriate mix for your applications. The default option of T2.micro should already be checked. This instance type is covered within the free tier and offers enough compute capacity to tackle simple workloads. Click Configure Instance Details. Keep everything default for this lab. Click Next Add Storage. Keep everything as default. Make sure Delete on Termination is selected. Click Add Tags. Add a tag. Key equals name and value equals web server. Click Configure Security Group. Add a rule to open HTTP port to public so that you can view your website from a browser. Click Review and then Launch. Review and click Launch. On the next screen you will be asked to choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. A key pair is used to securely access your Linux instance using SSH. AWS stores the public part of the key pair which is just like a house lock. You download and use the private part of the key pair which is just like a house key. Select create a new key pair and give it the name my key pair. Next click the download key pair button. The key will be stored with PEM extension. After you download the my key pair key, you will want to store your key in a secure location. If you lose your key, you won't be able to access your instance. If someone else gets access to your key, they will be able to access your instance. After you have stored your key pair, click launch instance to start your Linux instance. Click View Instances on the next screen to view your instances and see the status of the instance you have just started. In a few minutes, the Instance State column on your instance will change to running and a public IP address will be shown. You can refresh these Instance State columns by pressing the Refresh button on the right just above the table. Next we will connect to the instance from a Windows machine. Download PuTTY and PuTTYCON from https colon slash slash www.putty.org. We will use PuttyGin to convert PEM file to a PPK file. Load the PEM file to the PuttyGin software. Click Save Private Key. Once you have a PPK file we will use that to connect to the just created virtual server from a Windows machine. Mac and Linux user can directly SSH to the server using the PEM file. Use the chmod400 command to make sure your private key file is not publicly viewable. To connect from the Windows machine. Open the PuTTY software and connect to instance by providing public IP address and PPK in the auth configuration setting. Increase the font size of the terminal under Windows Appearance and 10 click Open. Log into the server as EC2 user. That is the default user ID for Amazon instance. Once you log into the server, execute sudo su command to increase your privileges to a root user sudo su. 
then execute the yum update y command. This command brings all software packages up to date. This might take about a minute to finish. Typically AMIs will have all software up to date so it took less time to finish. Next install Apache by typing the command. Yum install httpdy. This will install Apache. Navigate to slash var slash www slash html directory. Create an index.html file with some sample content. With command X and yes you can save and exit from nano editor. Start Apache by firing the following command. Service httpd start. Check status of Apache by running. Service httpd status. For restarting Apache at reboot execute the following command config httpd on. Copy the public IP address of your AWS instance and paste it on a browser window. You should see your new website. It is a best practice to terminate instances you are no longer using so you don't keep getting charged for them. You can easily terminate the instance from the EC2 console. Back on the EC2 console, select the box next to the instance you created. Then click the Actions button, navigate to Instance State, and click Terminate. You will be asked to confirm your termination, select Yes, Terminate. Note, this process can take several seconds to complete. Once your instance has been terminated, the instance state will change to terminate it on your EC2 console. Thank you.